as an administrator, we're thinking about PARC, and we're thinking about SGOs and evaluations, and then when we push all that aside and we walk into Jen's classroom and the kids are completely engaged and they're motivated and some of the projects that you're about to see, you forget about all the other stuff that we're required to do and when you see students who are truly enjoying the, the lessons that are being taught by both of our artists and then when you talk to kids outside of the art room of what made their day was being part of this program, that really was the true benefit for us. The Artist and Education Residency Grant Program is a program that provides funding for schools in the state of New Jersey to bring artists in for 20 days or more to work with their students on a long-term arts project. The goal was to teach our students about pre-Columbian art, which really ties into the culture of the community. In order to get as many goals as we possibly could, I had a, a family night that parents, local community members, um, students and uh, really anybody uh, from the public could come sign up and every hour we had a group of about 20 to 25 people in the room making bowls. After that we, we did have everybody that could come back and glaze those bowls also. Everyone was very excited about it and everybody still is. Schools benefit from AIE in a number of ways. Uh, first of all, they can enhance their arts programming. That could be anything from having an artist come in and work with students who have a special need and want to work in a particular way. It enhances the teacher's professional development. Uh, teachers can learn a skill that they may not be 100% comfortable with, something that's new for them. The teaching artists that work with the schools can also enhance the work that's being done. One of the great things about this residency is we started the first day with a field trip. It's uh, Hudson River Park on the West Village. So you, so you can see George Sherwood, uh, the whole piece would rotate and basically seek the wind, and then there was many smaller turbines. So I really started the residency just thinking about that idea, a turbine made out of many smaller turbines. So you can see them there interacting with one of these sculptures. Inside is a turbine with a number of mirrors that create kind of a kaleidoscopic effect. I try to have the kids lead the project and uh, I'm their assistant, their facilitator. And uh, so they make proposals. These are individual proposals. This is an eighth grade proposal. So, you know, you've seen this work. What, what would you make? You know, so they, they decided to make a large eyeball <laughs> that would be, you know, plastic bags, the lid would move. This is just, you know, the imagination of these kids, and there's like amazing ideas. The image of a, a solar system, that could be the wind turbine. I love these ones that were like trees, and the, the branches would move, the leaves would move. And then we went into the computer lab, and they start working on Tinkercad, which is a uh, very simple online program that anyone can use. And the idea here is they were going to make little turbines. With the idea, I was thinking maybe they, we could then use those little turbines within the larger pieces. environment where the project was decided and this is where the greenhouse was going. So this project was really more of a design uh, program. So the idea was we're going to put this greenhouse, make a butterfly garden and it's going to be pretty big and it's going to affect everything that's in there so let's be sure it affects everything in a positive way. Well, to do that we started out with a field trip to the Highline where the students had a good time and we talked about motif afterwards. This shape, benches and reflecting the old railway lines which is also reflected in that building. And we decided that our motif would be mosaics because everything else in the courtyard has mosaics. So some of the skills we worked on to create existing conditions because that's one of the most important things for design is to know where it's going, how big it's going to be.
And for a high school student, and the guys love this, how to use a tape measure, standard notation in feet and inches, triangulation. We mapped every plant, every object, all the drains. We mapped everything in this courtyard. Uh, how to use a scale ruler, and what is plan, elevation, and section. We did all the design in the winter time, and then when the spring came, we started to lay out the design in the courtyard. And we were using things like the hose and some tiles to lay out what had already been designed and decide whether it was really appropriate, a final, uh, a final check of sizes and locations. We always had a, a thought and a vision to say art has to play a, a major part into what is going on in the academic setting as well, right? It's twofold. It's the academics, the behaviors, and then also saying how do we balance that whole child. We have um, a high population of special needs students. We're learning disabilities. We have autistic students. We have students with behavioral problems. And we also have gen ed students in the classroom who also are learning in different ways, right? So they come into the classroom and are able to um, utilize their hands in a different way. They're able to learn in a different way. So being able to see and not even know who is classified into which category we, we so choose to put them in, they're all coming together and working on this really big project. to ensure that the exposure is happening on a consistent basis so that when they do go into the high school, it's not for the first time they to be a part of this great experience, right? So we have some scholars who are leaving out who have never played an instrument, but they want to be a trumpet player. Mm -hmm. So they're going into ninth grade, and for the first time, it can happen, but it would be so awesome if we're giving scholars prepared and ready. So this right here, this experience for me, taking a step out, looking in, is the exposure and where the scholars are saying, like, they feel valued, they had their voice, like, they, it was a collaborative experience, and they enjoyed themselves.